What's going on everybody and welcome on into this video. We're diving into finviz.com, one of the best free resources out there right now for you when it comes to the stock market, finding stocks to trade, whether you trade penny stocks, whether you trade options, whether you trade large caps, mid caps, it doesn't matter. You're going to find a lot of value here in this video. So we're going to walk you through finviz here for the year 2022, kind of all the features that they have access to, at least as of right now, We'll dive into all that and then we'll kind of walk us through the screener. We'll walk us through different features so that you know how to use this platform and how to take advantage of that. And then we'll also talk about different ways to find some of the better trending stocks, stocks for day trades, stocks for swing trades, long-term investments, all that good stuff here in this video. So make sure you're jumping down and subscribing. If you get something out of the video with the thumbs up button, that's all we ask of you. Let us dive into the computer right now. And we're looking at finviz.com. So we're currently looking at the homepage, just finviz.com. And we'll leave a link in the resources tab down below in the description box. If you guys want to go there or just type in finviz.com, you'll get to the, the exact same way. So I always have this kind of bookmark as one of the pages that I'll always refer back to when it comes to researching stocks, looking for stocks to trade because of what they have to offer. And hopefully you guys will understand why towards the end of this video, exactly, you know, so many traders and so many people love using this platform and this site. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I want to start right here. So here's the home page up in the top left to click home. You're going to get a little inside view as to what the Dow, NASDAQ, and the S&P 500 have done the prior trading day. Okay. So if it's open, the market's open right now, they will show you kind of what's going on as we speak. And if the market's not open right now, it'll show you the prior day. So right now it's pre-market hours when we're filming this video, as you guys probably can see, it's a little dark, the windows are over there, but it's a little dark. So it's early in the morning for right, for right now. Uh, and so we're kind of going back to the prior day that we, we, we saw this, right? So uh, also something to note too, there's a little relative volume tab on the left-hand side of these charts. So notice this, the Dow traded just over normal relative volume and one being kind of that threshold for normal. Uh, the NASDAQ a little bit under and then the S&P just shy of the normal 1.0 relative volume scale. Something to just at least watch. And then below that, you'll see right here, if you hover over these advancing, declining, new highs, new lows, it'll give you some insight into some stocks that are trading on the New York Stock Exchange, the NASDAQ and the Amex. You'll notice that 48% of stocks advanced just under about 47.7 declined new highs. We see how many stocks hit new highs compared to stocks hitting new lows. We actually see even when the markets were up, we saw more stocks hitting new lows than new highs. Something to note, uh, stocks trading above the 50 SMA less than there are below. And then stocks above that 200 SMA, there are more stocks below the 200 SMA than above across the NASDAQ, the New York Stock Exchange, and the MX. It's something to note, it gives us a broader view of the markets rather than just looking at the overall indices, what's actually going on behind the scenes. Because these days, some of the big name companies they're gonna rule the market. The big name companies are up, the stock markets are probably gonna go up, but a lot of other stocks may actually be down and that may tell a different story. It's something to at least pay attention to. Beyond that, now we can kind of see, we, we go in through a lot more information right here. So this is going to tell us some of the top gainers from Friday, so from the last trading day on the left-hand side. So you'll see how it'll say top gainers. It'll even have a, a section that says new highs, unusual volume. So it's kind of like a screener or a scanner all, all in one right on the front of your page. And it just might catch your eye. You might see a stock in here and you might want to jump into it and see, and hey, you know what? I want to dive deeper. And if you hover over any stock, any ticker symbol on the left-hand side, you'll get a quick and dirty view of the chart of the past couple months. And then you can, of course, click into that and dive deeper into that specific stock, get more information, which we're going to show you how to do here in just one second. There's even a top losers. And then there's some more information as we scroll down. You get to see kind of some signals, channel ups, channel downs, different sorts of things, trend line supports and resistance. Uh, we have some major news on the right hand side. You can kind of see, you can click on some of these stocks that have major news. You can dive into those. You can have at least some of these are some, you know, short term headlines that we're seeing right now. So a little headline tab right there on the homepage and then some insider trading activity. So you'll see even, you know, what insiders are doing, buys, sells, option exercise, and they'll show you kind of how many shares, the value of that, and at what cost basis that was done on this screen right here. You'll even get some earnings release uh, information on the right hand side. And then down towards the bottom, you'll see futures, how futures are looking as we speak. The last thing I do want to point out on this homepage is this right here, this heat map. If I click on this heat map right here, 
it'll pull this up, tons of information on this, okay? So right now it's looking at the one day performance, so I can actually go back and I can look at the past week, okay? I can look at the past one year performance and I can see what sectors are performing really, really well, what sectors are not, and I can get a really good broad overview of the stock market just like that, okay? So there's a lot more where that came from, but that's one thing that I totally, totally recommend. It's also under the maps section up on the top bar. So we're, we're back on the homepage. You can see the map on the homepage, but it's also under the maps um, section across the top, okay? So that is the first part to Finviz. But now you probably wanna dive deeper into understanding and using some of the other features to find stocks for yourself. Next tab is news and why this matters is because this could help shape how stuff moves for the day. If this, we're seeing some crazy news we're about you know the overall markets, we're seeing some crazy news that relates to certain stocks, tech, this and that, that could be something that impacts a lot of stocks. You know, for example, you might look at this and you might pull up a CNBC article that talks about, you know, the sentiment in a certain sector, or you might talk about kind of what's going on right now based on current fears across the overall world economy. And so this will be a great place to go um, to just to get that kind of news release. And if I wanted to pull up some of these news articles just like this, I click on one of those links and I can pull up an article just like that, this article came out earlier this morning and boom, you know, we're right on top of it. We have at least a really good feel for the news. What's going on? It's something to at least familiarize yourself with so you're paying attention to what's going on in the market. Next is the screener tab. This is where the fun begins. I wanna make sure we go over this and we'll actually have some more videos going forward in the future. And, and we'll dive into different aspects of this to find different stocks because this is an amazing resource to use for free. Uh, there will be extra parts to this that you could pay more for um, if you want certain you know, extras to this. But for a basic overview to get yourself a great list of stocks to start with, to do your research, this is a great place to go, okay? So right now, I have not, I, I, I saved a lot of presets, but I don't use any right now. That could be a, a, a topic for a different video. What we're gonna look at is how to utilize this scanner, this screener, okay? So right now, I have done nothing, okay? We are just looking at pretty much any stock I can trade, ETFs, all that stuff. I'm gonna start off by going through and adding a couple different things to the screener and so you kind of can see how this stuff works and so how we can start to see stocks that we may like to buy. Then I'm going to, as we build this out, my example will be stocks that we may look to trade with some bullish price action that are holding nice trends and that we can see some nice areas of support resistance and play very nicely and build out a trading plan for those stocks. So that's what we're gonna do here in this video. Ultimately, I would love for you to go in here and do this and customize this to make it your own because that's what it's all about. So I'm gonna start up over on the exchange here. I'm not going to touch anything, okay? I'm gonna leave exchange as any. Market cap is where I'm going to change things. So let's say that I am someone who likes to trade, you know, mid to large caps. I don't wanna play small caps. I don't wanna play penny stocks. I'm going to go under the large or the market cap section right here and I'm going to go plus mid. What does that mean? It's only going to show me stocks with a $2 billion market cap or more, okay? Anything below, it will not show me, okay? So I'm going to click on plus mid, and just like that, we're going to start to, we can see at the bottom of our screen, we, we start to kind of cut the amount of pages down. Now, there's still a lot here, but we're starting to cut it down just a little bit. Next, I want to go over to sector. I think this is actually a great place to go. Let's just say that right now I am looking at the technology sector and I want to play some tech stocks that are really, really strong, that are you know uptrending that I can play right now. And so now you can see we only have 20 pages. So we've really started to cut this down. So just like that, we're starting to kind of you know solidify our list here, okay? Now let's say relative volume. I wanna see something that is trading at least uh, a one. So over a one relative volume, I wanna see something that's starting to trade a little more than average volume. Uh, and over one should do, and it cuts our list down now to seven pages. So we had 20, now we're down to seven. So it starts to cut things down a little bit, which is helpful, okay? Beyond that, I can go into the industry, which if I wanted to do that, I could do that. And then maybe I'm gonna go to semiconductors because semiconductors has been a very hot industry right now. And just like that, guys, we have one page. So just like that, I now have a list of 10 stocks in front of me that are $2 billion market cap or more, tech stocks, trading over a one relative volume in the semiconductor space. I got a nice list to go off of. In this case, I would probably stop here because 10 stocks to kind of pick through is enough for me, but you could go deeper if you had a bigger list because maybe you didn't solidify this down or you didn't kind of dial in as much. You may want to go deeper and you may want to add more 
aspects to this that we can kind of trade off of. Okay, cool. So let's say that we wanted to dive deeper. There's a fundamental section right here. So you can look at things like price to earnings ratio. You can look at insider ownership. Do we see very high insider ownership? Do we see low insider ownership? That, that, that's kind of important because what does that tell me? That tells me that the insiders have an interest in the, the company, in this stock price, you know, right to some degree. Uh, there's a lot more where that came from here. You can look, oh, you know, sales growth quarter over quarter. You can go back and look at some of that stuff. EPS growth this year. There's tons of stuff there when it comes to the fundamental tab. And then there's also a technical tab. And inside the technical tab, you can look for stocks that are maybe trading above the 200 SMA, the 50 SMA. So for example, let me actually do that right now. Uh, I want to go over the 50 day simple moving average. I want to say, okay, I want a stock that is above the 50 SMA. It's telling me this stock is bullish. Boom. Now I got seven stocks just like that. Okay. Um, other things to also note, there is a signal tab at the top. This could help if you want to look for stocks that have, you know, different kind of signals. And there's a ton of signals where that came from. Some of those signals being head and shoulders patterns, overbought stocks, oversold, recent insider buying, recent insider selling, horizontal support resistance, trend line resistance, trend line support. Those are also very, very helpful to use. If I like, if I click on one of these right here, if I go to horizontal support resistance, it may cut out. See, now it may it cuts out a lot of our stocks in this case because we don't have that many to choose from. So I want to probably, in this case, not utilize that and ultimately make my own decision for myself as I look at these stocks. Uh, there's also, on top of the signal tab, which is the top, if you go over here into the technical indicators, if you go right there and you go to pattern, it'll show you a ton of different technical indicator patterns and you can trade off of those patterns as well. Now, Finviz is going to use a computer to identify these patterns. So you may be able to identify different things on your own charts, but it's a great place to start. Okay. So just because you kind of solidify things and just look for stocks that maybe fit the Finviz signal or the pattern, you may find stocks that technically would have fit if you didn't utilize those because Finviz is going to kind of use a computer and it's ultimately going to be a little bit kind of subjective, ultimately how they determine things and how you see things yourself. So now I have these stocks. I'm going to start looking through these stocks. So this stock right here seemingly has recently gapped up. Uh, personally, that seems like it may be a little bit overextended for me right now. I might step away from that one. CRUS has been trending really, really strong. MRVL is another one that's up there quite a bit. MXL is actually looking pretty good. NVDA uh, o N T O. And then we have S I M O. I'm actually going to look over at NVDA. So look at this. Now I have a really good sense for this chart. I found this stock and noticed I can notice right now, look, this stock has been up turning, up turning, up turning. And now it's kind of consulting. We're seeing that, Hey, we got a resistance point up here towards about 334 or so. And we had prior supports down around this 289 or so. And so I'm looking to buy this thing down in the 280s and look to sell this thing up over 300 and a possible breakout up to the upside for new highs if momentum comes back in and this thing breaks up over this 335 or so area. So boom, just like that, I've been able to develop a trading plan based off of how I went and searched about these stocks. And the reason why I used the over the 50 SMA, it just tells me that these stocks are bullish, they're uptrending and they have positive momentum as of late. Also look at this recent volume. Look at the volume. If you go back through, right, what we're looking at right now the past couple of months on this stock, look at the volume really in November through December has been definitely elevated, right? Just the average volume is higher than where it's been. So this is a stock that's got a lot of volume. It's going to make some moves and it's a stock that I want to have on my watch list to trade. From here, they're going to give you a ton more information where that came from. So you're going to get things like, where is this stock? Is it in the S&P? Is it in the NASDAQ? The Dow? Where is it? Market cap wise, it'll tell you right there. Income, sales, book to share, cash to, sh cash to share, the dividend yields, all that good stuff is all going to be right here. Plus a lot more where that came from. Okay. So this is kind of more like fundamental information to have data based on the stock. Then we scroll down and we'll have price targets. So this is going to show us recent price targets that we've gotten on this stock. And it'll show us right here. Uh, we've seen some upgrades, some reiterations uh, of buy, strong buy, overweight, buy, buy, buy. All, all of these price targets are indicating strong, strong momentum, strong targets, a lot of them higher than what we're currently trading right now. Below that, there is going to be a news section. So this is going to be news that you see from that stock, whatever stock you're looking at. It could be related to that company. It could be related to the sector, or it could be press releases that are out from the company specifically. That's all going to show up right here. It's another great, great tool. All of the news, tons of articles, tons of information right there. Beyond that, there is kind of like a little introduction to the company. 
Uh, you get a couple paragraphs or at least a paragraph right there to talk about that. You have some more information down here, balance sheet, cash flows, income statements. This is going to be locked in terms of you want to go back like way, way back in the, in the past. Uh, you'll have to have the fin, upgraded Finviz platform to look at some of that, but you get a quick you know view as to the basics right there. Now you'll all see at the bottom of the screen here, we keep going down and now we get to the good stuff, insider activity. So this is probably more important, I would say, for penny stocks. Um, the larger the companies, you'll see a lot of stocks and a lot of companies, you'll see more insider sales and option exercises for the most part. Um, but that's not necessarily going to dictate the stock is going down because insiders are selling. No, a lot of times they're just locking in something. They're taking something from themselves and they're going on and doing whatever they're patting their pockets, whatever they're doing. But if you're seeing insider buys, that could be interesting because you may be looking at companies that insiders believe there's a lot of growth potentially going forward. And so, you know, a stock like NVDA that's made a crazy move this year. Yeah. You're probably going to see a lot more selling, but maybe a penny stock or, you know, a stock that's hitting new lows you might see more buying because those inside the company believe that this stock is undervalued and they believe that in the next couple of years that they can certainly grow this company and this will be you know, a much more interesting stock. And so that's why they're buying. So that's a useful tool as well to use. I think it's also underutilized. It's got tons of information right here on one page. Take advantage of this stuff. That is basically how you utilize the screener to find stocks that fit your criteria. Next is a group tab. And so here we can see the different sectors. I can go into different sectors and I can kind of compare their one day performance. I can compare their one week. I can compare, compare their one month. I can really get a feel for what's kind of been the hot sector over certain periods of time. And we clearly see as we scroll down that energy, technology, and real estate, financial, those have been some solid sectors uh, this past year. So this is actually a really cool tab that not many people even know. There's a lot more you can kind of go through here. You can look at a lot more different, a lot of different things. You can look at like dividend yields, EPS growth the past five years, for example. Some of this stuff is going to be blocked by having a Finviz, by not having a Finviz Elite platform. So make sure you at least understand that. You'll need a Finviz Elite account for some of the information here. And that's kind of the deal with how this stuff works. You can kind of create your own portfolio here on Finviz as well. There's the Insider tab. If you want to look at more insider trading activities, that is under the Insider tab. Uh, beyond that, there's a Futures tab. We can kind of see how futures are doing across the board right now. Uh, and that's actually very, very helpful to see. Uh, beyond the Futures tab, we have a Forex tab right here. If you want to learn more and, and see more into uh, the Forex options and at least the kind of pairs that you have right here. Beyond that, there is even a Crypto tab they've built out. Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, they got a bunch of cryptos that you can follow here as well. You can look at some of their performance and charts on top of that. Then they have Backtest tab, which is going to be something you have to subscribe to. And then, of course, there is the Finviz Elite tab. Uh, that is, in a nutshell, Finviz.com in 2022. Hopefully that was helpful. If you got something out of the video, consider subscribing, hit the thumbs up button down below. Leave any questions and comments because I want to make more videos talking about how to do different things, how to make different screeners, setups, and things like that. So definitely check out more videos on the channel if we haven't made them already. They're coming very, very soon. Thanks so much for watching. The thumbs up button, consider subscribing. We'll leave links and resources down below. Finviz link will be down below in the description in the resources tab. Also links to get some free stocks with Webull. Nowadays, they're giving out five free stocks and then five bucks in free crypto. All you gotta do is sign up and deposit any amount on the platform and you can open up like five free stocks plus five bucks in any crypto of your choosing. Thanks so much guys and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.